everybody, it's Michael Termini with The Game House, and today I'm joined by everyone's favorite Zoomer, e.g. Jojo Pian. So, speaking of that, I gotta get this question out of the way, because I've been dying to know. Are you sick of the whole young talent narrative? Are you sick of that being beat to the ground? Every single interviewer, the LCS, every press outlet asking a trillion questions about that. Does that get tiresome to you? Um, I mean, I kind of get tired of it, but I mean, I understand why they're asking it. So it kind of makes sense. You know, it's like annoying for me, kind of. But I see why they're asking it and the narrative and everything. So, I mean, it's not like I don't want it to happen because I understand why they're saying it. So I don't mind it too much. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, so you guys just came off a dominant win against TSM. Uh, zero kills for them. They pretty much got nothing on the map. Uh, so I guess, like, what went into dismantling TSM that much? I just, uh, I just think we played well. They played bad. Like, we just all played well individually and together. Um, we had good coordination, good everything. We were all on the same page. And they are kind of lost. So we just took advantage of them being bad. And then we just wiped them, I guess, yeah. Do you think TSM is as bad as they showed today, or do you think they're a team that's generally better than this was just a really bad game for them? I mean, I think they're playing fine, like, for the early game and mid-game. Mm -hmm. I mean, they should, because they basically have push on all lanes except top and everything. But, yeah, they're playing fine, so it was still definitely winnable, like, the first 15 minutes. And then, I don't know, a team play happened. They threw. It was pretty questionable what they did. And then after that, we kind of knew the game was over. So, up until then, I think they played fine so i mean i don't think they're as bad as they showed today i just think they made a lot of mistakes in fights but other than that i still think they can be top six maybe i don't know not bad all right uh so you played against maple and obviously he is the newest import to the league so i gotta know what are your thoughts on him uh it seemed like the laning phase was generally pretty even uh so how did it feel playing versus him i mean playing against maple um, not even from this game, just even in like scrims and, you know, like solo queue and stuff like that. I think he's a smart player. I don't think he's really good at laning phase, but I think he's good at the, playing the map and he's just a smart player and good at playing with his teammates. And I think that's really important that no one in that LCS really has, except Bjergsen, I would say. Bjergsen and Maple, those two. So, I mean, Hello? yeah, they're kind of uh -huh. the same. <laughs> oh, shit. Hooney just hopped in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, that just happened. Um, all right, uh, so I guess the next question is, what was with the ratio thing on Vulcan's head? Obviously, it was a play of the, the G2 writing on the head thing, and Vulcan's known as the ratio king on Twitter. So I just want to know, is there more of a story behind it, or was it just for shits and giggles? Honestly, I've seen another room before the game just to chill. This is my mind, right? So I don't know what happened. I just came into the room, and Vulcan's like, right ratio on my head to... So it's your hand uh, right no, not me. To okay. Connor, which is a, our performance coach. So uh, he just wrote a shot. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't even, like, it was like, okay. And then I just got ready to prepare for the game. So, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, so we're going to go back a week uh, because I think it's kind of important. Uh, that CLG loss, uh, quite a ping pong battle of a game back and forth. Um, what did you guys learn from that loss in particular and worked on this week to make sure that never happens again? Um... I think I had a really bad off day that week because, I mean, I don't want to make excuses or anything, so I'm not going to say why, but I just felt really bad those two games. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if I was playing my normal self, I could have easily carried the game against CLG. Um, but, yeah, we were just – didn't play well. I felt like we were kind of more nervous because we didn't want to lose because we had a perfect score too. Um, so, I mean, the pressure's gone. So, I don't know. We just we just weren't playing how I usually play it. I'm not lost. All kind of um, thinking our own ways and not really coordinating too well as we did before. So or today. So yeah. You think like losses like that that take the edge off are uh, you know important and uh, you know just make the team overall play better. I mean, yeah, I feel like I wasn't too sad that we lost to CLG because I felt like a lot of tension would come up and um, we would just be more relaxed for the next games. So and it's not like they're a better team. I mean. We're obviously better, but they beat us, so I can't say anything right now. But we're not too worried about CLG, so it doesn't. It's not as bad as like losing to TL for us, who we think is like our only competitor. So yeah. Hence is the nature of Bo ones, right? All right, and the yeah. final question here: You guys have this two week, I mean, or more or less a one week break coming up. Obviously, uh, you know, it's been pretty well reported that uh, some members of EG were pretty burned out after pretty much straight LCS uh, lock in LCS MSI straight into LCS again. 
what are you looking to do with this uh, week off? Uh, are you going anywhere? Going to have some plans, do something fun? Yeah, I'm going back to Toronto tomorrow. After game day, I'm just getting out of here, going back to, to Toronto. Mm -hmm. Just going to chill for like a week, and then I'll come back and I'll be ready. So, yeah, I, mean, I, want, I want to say I'm burned out, but I'm not as motivated as usual. Um, so that will definitely help me. Fair enough. All right, man. Uh, thank you very much for coming on, and check out thegamehouse.com for more LCS interviews.